first things first, good morning, 7.58 a.m. here on Mon here in Texas on a Monday. There you go. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> okay, so first things first, I'm going to talk about my small Paul Lund collection, and I'm going to start off with the small bag. I'm going to start off with the items I purchased first. Let me put it in that, in that way. So this is the Numero Un Mini. This one is only on their website. There is no atelier or store here in the US. So you do have to order it directly from Pollen. And this bag is a Numero Un Mini, as I mentioned before. This is $350. This is where I would normally put my phone. It comes on a chain, so it has that metal gold wear type of finish. I bought this one in February of 2019 for my birthday. This is what it looks like on the inside. This is just like a demo to show you guys what I would normally carry with me in this little bag versus the other bigger bag. So this is a small bag. Pretend that it has my gum. So this is first thing I would put, which is my, pretend it's my iPhone. I have my wallet. I take off these snaps or pop open these snaps. And here is my wallet, which doesn't really have anything, but that's my wallet. Um, I carry two of these of tissues. I carry my lipstick palette, my lipstick brush, my lip gloss, lip balm, and other lip balm. Um, well, lip shimmer, I should say. So I carry those as well. Hand sanitizer. Extra hand soap. Hand lotion and feminine hygiene products, which is a pad, a panty liner, and two feminine wipes. So that's what I carry in this bag. Or if I were to go out, that's what I would carry in that bag there. I'm gonna get rid of that glitter. So this is what the inside looks like. It's pretty deep. This too, it's pretty deep. Like I can put my hand in here comfortably. If you guys can see that, I can put my hand in there pretty comfortably. So yeah, there you go. Yet again, I do have kind of small hands. Uh, it's pretty deep. You can actually put, um, if you have like a small little like water bottle, you can do that. Like those little mini water bottles, you can do that. If you don't carry as much stuff as I do, I do carry a lot of like more um, miscellaneous, not miscellaneous, but like more like essentials, like tissues and stuff like that. Because I noticed some places do not carry all the time um, soap or there's no soap available or no tissue paper, or toilet paper, or whatever available that I may need after using the re a public restroom, which has happened many, many times. So lesson learned, essentials packed. This is the wallet. The wallet is uh, 180. It is, I got this one in black in a specific finish. The other ones have some suede finish. I personally don't like suede how it wears uh, over time. So I like this one. I do love the shading, the shades that they have, like the color selection. I've been wanting to get the burgundy one, but I think I'm going to go more for a burgundy bag and just continue to be using my black wallet. I really don't need to get another black wallet. I tend to get more, I tend to focus more or like to switch out different bags versus like getting different wallets. Wallets tend to last me forever. Uh, so this is what I have in my wallet. I have my ID, my like license, my school ID, credit cards, debit card. Um, I have my little coin bag. I put cash in here, which to be honest, I never really have any cash on me. Um, coupons and like cards for places that I go out to. Any like proof of purchase stuff that I need to have, I put it here in this other like extra slot, which you can also put cash, checks, whatever you wanna put in here. It is very sturdy, very elegant. Um, I've gone just with my wallet. It holds a lot. Um, to be honest, it's actually very functional. It's a very functional and sturdy wallet. Um, I haven't, I don't have any complaints. The only thing that I do notice is that if you put too much change, it doesn't close. But I think that's with any wallet that you put too much of anything, it won't close properly. I have put a lip balm in here, in here and it's mainly these thin ones that fit. The thicker ones like these don't do that well and to be honest I don't want to damage my wallet so this is more or less how I how I have it or this is exactly how I have it and that's pretty much it on this wallet what I love about these two products is that this bag is more of like 
social night or date night or when I'm going out, like this is more nightlife or when I don't feel like carrying a big bag when I'm running errands. So this is on the long run kind of purse. It's held the shape very nicely. And another thing about this is that it's very elegant. It's very chic. It's very minimal. It's very practical. It's functional. It has little legs at the bottom as well. So it's not just directly touching the floor. And um, I really love it. The only thing I will tell you about the Pauline bag, and to be honest, I think it's like this with any leather good, is that because they do have this metal hardware, depending on what you put in here, it can make it a lot heavier and it does hurt when you're first wearing it. So if you're not used to having a lot of weight, this will be digging at you. I was actually debating on returning it and I had already used it for a while. I had already looked at it and every time I would look at it in the mirror, it was just such a beautiful piece that I ended up keeping it and I ended up loving it more and more. And I actually ended up getting used to the heavy weight of this bag. Yet again, keep in mind, I do put a lot of stuff in my bag. Um, within a month and a half, two months of just constantly wearing the purse. And the reason why it took me that long is because I was out either working or I was home all the time. So I didn't really go out. I still don't really go out. It's more like when I go to Target or like HEB type of going out, that's my version of going out. Um, I'm not really a huge nightlife person or like a going out person for the most part. Um, but I do love this little bag. <coughs> it's my absolute favorite. I sometimes put it in here if I know that I'm not really gonna take anything. Like if I'm not gonna take any backups for makeup, I'm just gonna take a lip balm. I'll take my wallet, but for the most part, this little this little glittery pink wallet suffices. Like it's perfectly fine. Um, another thing is that this little piece. I'm gonna talk about cons. If you don't like having to basically pull down to open your your purse, that might be something you might have to reconsider before purchasing or or really consider um, before purchasing this type of purse. Uh, it does get caught sometimes, like I noticed it happened sometime after we moved in, when we first moved in like months ago, my purse got caught on one of the, I don't want to say a stair, like case, but it, it's, it's a Victorian house, so it does have like some edges where the wood sticks out, and when I was going up the stairs, it got caught, and as you can see, there's a little bit of damage there. So that's the only thing it got caught on both this piece and this piece. So that's pretty much my only downside to this purse. Other than that, everything is perfectly fine. Um, it it is very strong. A very it has a very strong magnet. Um, it holds its shape very nicely as long as you store it properly. Like I usually just keep it like this when I put it. Um, on a specific rack and I cover it or I put it in its pollen bag or if I know I'm gonna go out like that day I prepare everything in this bag um, the night before or the morning of and have it ready for the nighttime it really just depends um, I don't really have any complaints like I've gotten it wet in the rain I don't recommend that on any leather goods but I have gotten it wet in the rain and immediately wiped it down with tissues or with any type of cloth and no damage as you can tell it has zero water damage and I did have a leather purse at one point and uh, I think it was a Marc Jacobs one and it got really nasty water damage like within minutes of just what was me walking from I want to say I was I was out of town I think that day I think we were out of town yeah, I think we were out of town in San Antonio when it started raining out of nowhere and by the time I got into the mall's restroom to get tissue paper, because I didn't have any on me at the time, I thought I packed out some and I didn't, there was already like watermarks and I was like, ooh, it doesn't look good anymore. So I don't know, it's really, it's really high quality, very well crafted leather. One of my absolute favorites. I am considering getting a, another one, but in the shade burgundy, probably in this exact same style. If not, I'll get it in the numero un, um, mini, which is literally like the, per the next bag I'm going to show you and the wallet. I honestly like, I love it. I always get compliments on my little purse for some reason. Like I tend to get more compliments on my little purse and on my wallet 
than when I do my green bag. I think these are the oh, I think these are the type of products that with wear they just look more elegant and they look better. It's kind of like really good wine or fine wine. They age very nicely. You do see a little bit of damage here and there from like running into like stuff, like especially when I would go to concerts or like art exhibits. Um, I don't have the best coordination, so uh, I have run into some things here and there. But other than that, very sturdy, very nice. That's my take on that. So I am going to show you guys my next bag. I'm just gonna put everything back in my Burt's Bees bag here because this is where I keep pretty much everything in, in order. Um, I do try my best to make sure that I carry everything with me. So here's where I put everything. So you guys know what I'm putting in here. I This is what I, right now I'm emptying it out. Yes. I'm emptying it out. You guys are probably gonna think like, wow, you go overboard. But this is my Burt's Bees bag. It's empty right now, it's empty. There's nothing in these slots. So first things first is my hand cream, hand sanitizer, a backup for hand soap, isopropyl rubbing alcohol. I think this is 91%. Um, lipsticks, lip balms. So I'm gonna put all the ones I had there earlier. I'm gonna put them all in here in this bag. Um, another lip balm. I like to have a lot of lip balms on me don't ask me why <laughs> I've just always had that habit um, it's a habit that I have really if I'm being completely honest I do carry or do put two pads in here I'm putting two pads two different panty liners which by the way I don't know if you guys want me to talk about like some of my absolute favorite feminine hygiene and it's not your always or like typical brand they're very specific and I can talk about that if y'all would like for me to. And feminine wipes, these are two of my absolute favorite feminine wipes. And I am also putting in my NARS custom made lip palette, lipstick palette, which I have spoken about in the past, my lip brush. And it's all in here in this little bag. Oh, and I forgot my glossy lip gloss. Here you go. Let's put it in here. Let's put this puppy in there nice and sleek nice and well organized oh i sometimes carry this if i'm not going to carry my lipstick palette um i usually just keep it here on the side um i don't always carry it with me to be honest it's very rare when i go out without my lipstick uh, oh and i forgot to mention the combination of prices for uh or when you get if you want to make the purchase of getting the wallet and the mini this is 180 the mini numero un this fellow little here, little fellow over here, it's $350. Altogether, it's $500, and the shipping is $30. Like how I said, it's not available here in the United States. You do have to order online through the uh, Paris Itelier. So they are located in Paris, France. If you, want more information, if you want more information, I'll put the links on the description so you guys know what I'm referring to. So you're not like, what? <laughs> I did not know this beforehand, but I will stress it again. They're not available in the U.S. Paris only. Online order. <laughs> okay, so now for this big pepper. I'm going to put away all the stuff that I normally carry with me. Normally carry with me. That's the trick here. Okay. So... I'm gonna show you guys my full size pollen. Uh, what is it called again? It's a numero un. Yeah, numero numero un purse. This is 420. I got mine in the shade. I believe it said emerald. I can double check for you. Let me put my password. And it's honestly like one of my absolute um, favorite bags right now like it's an everyday bag so this is my absolute favorite this shade i got it in it is in the shade interesting it doesn't tell me when it's out of stock it doesn't tell me the color when it's out of stock let's see pocket hmm 
Interesting. It doesn't tell me the, 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 the color. I'm a little triggered right now. Uh, my account, maybe I'll show up on my account, my order. The Trio Green Crocodile, it's what it's called. There you go. So I ordered this purse placed on September 22nd. And I got this purse delivered by the 27th, 29th. The day that I opened that bag was the day that I got it delivered. I posted it that day, I believe. Um, so it did take a few days. It didn't take that long. The most I've waited for it has been four days. Yeah, I believe I ordered the 20, the 22nd and it was shipped the 23rd. Yeah, the, I think it was the 23rd, 24th, something like that. It doesn't say the full description. And, okay. So, this is the big bag. I'm sorry it took so long. This is the big puppers. Um, this is <laughs> another one of my favorites. Uh, to be honest, I haven't been disappointed with any pollen item. I know it's only been three, but you know how sometimes, like, oh, because when these two are good, the next one should be great. And sometimes you're like, oh, disappointment. That's kind of like how I felt with other items in the past. I used to be a huge Kate Spade, huge coach uh, buyer because I like these type of leather goods. And I was in search for one for the longest time. And this is what I found after doing a lot of research on what purse to try. And this is it. As you can see, this is a big one. Um, this is where I put my phone. So again, I'm gonna use my pack of gum as a replacement for my iPhone. Um, this obviously has a bigger, bigger slot for your iphone so i do love that they keep in mind if you want to put like i think even a mini ipad might fit in here i don't have a mini ipad but i can imagine it might fit in here so there's the gum i'm going to take it out just because i don't want to overstretch the leather here um i've had it since september we're now in january so september october november december three-ish months going on four ish i do have a cute little keychain here there's a little a little dog it's so cute and it has um, a little bone and I think it's like a miniature version of it like in a bath I thought it was first like ice cream but I'm like what would a dog be in ice cream oh not a bath I'm sorry I think it's in a pillow I don't know what it's in but it's cute <laughs> I don't know sometimes I just I amuse myself so this is what I have in here a big cover so this is a lot pop all these snaps it has one two three four different snaps the 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 more you have it snapped together the more constructed and the better it keeps its shape so i do recommend that so there's that um the snaps are very sturdy i've never had a problem with them falling apart due to weight um, but they are hard snaps so you have to really make sure that you press them down so you know that your bag is sealed um and then of course the way it closes this is the closure here you also have the same issue or not the same issue but the same construct it's like this there you go <laughs> there. there should probably be more gentle but i don't know i'm being a little rough today so this is what i have in this bag specifically two kleenex packs excuse me got the hiccups Tylenol. I do have arthritis, so I need that. <laughs> my wallet, which I have discussed before. <coughs> my Ray-Bans. My essentials. Starbucks gum and my uh, nice and clean antibacterial hand wipes. Motion sickness lollies. I keep with me three pence, a sticky pad, small journal, and that's it. It's empty. So this is what the purse looks like on the inside. So you guys have a better, what did I drop? So you guys have a better idea of what I have in here. So this is the inside. It is very deep. You can fit a lot of items. If you're not the type to carry a lot of like essentials or type of stuff that I do, that's more like um i guess hygiene and just toiletries essentially you can even fit like if you're the type like that needs to wear like a shirt or change in between you can put your shirt in here 
Um, if you need a pair of pants, you could put a pair of pants in here with your wallet. If you're not, if you're not the type that carries all the stuff that I do, it's really up to you. It's a very versatile bag. You can make it into your work bag, your everyday bag, which to be honest, I love it for running errands and anything of that sort, especially when I know I'm going to be out of town. I tend to kind of really prioritize what I really need. So I'll get rid of some things that I don't think I would need right away. And instead of carrying the three pens, I'll carry one and the sticky note pad. <coughs> I'll end up packing three or four tissue like tissues because sometimes, you know, the, the bigger the population of the city, the less stuff is available. So that's another thing too. Um, I pack additional medicine or like over the counter things, um, allergy medication, um, anything really that can benefit me for an easier travel, even if it's going to be like a come and go type of situation where we're leaving early in the morning and coming back early in the evening. I still like to have stuff um, in my bag where like, you know, it's going to make my trip fun, essentially. And so with that being said, this is the little zip compartment and it's actually a really nice zipper just so you guys can see how well it zips and unzips. Sorry, there you go. It has two little slots here. Um, I don't have my headphones, I left them on my table and or my little, I guess my little nightstand in my bedroom, not table, nightstand. And it has two little compartments here. Um, the compartments are actually really, really sturdy comes in handy and has a linen type of uh outline i think that's the proper term or cover for the for the to protect the leather uh because the bag is so roomy i i don't know i find myself because it's so roomy and functional i find myself always carrying the stuff i need versus just a very slouchy bag that I have to dig through stuff. I feel like I just tend to put whatever. This is a very easy bag to organize and to clean out. I will tell you guys that. This is more or less how I put my stuff in. So I open up the slot in here. I get my journal and I put it in here next to the sticky notes. I always have a little pad of sticky notes just in case I need to write something or notes to directions or, um, because I don't always have the best service. What King has better service than I do? I have AT&T too, which, which is a shocker, but my service sucks. <laughs> no shocker to some people, but yeah, to some of y'all, you may be like, what? Let's see here. There. Alrighty. There's that. And then, so this is what it looks like to start off. Right there in that zip box. That's all I put in there. Next is hand wipes, the tissues. The tissues actually, it depends. Uh, the tissues, I tend to just kind of put them on the side here. I don't put them in the slot. I put them kind of here on the side. So I put it, put that there. With the wipes, I put my pack of gum and that's usually where I put my headphones as well, where my hand wipes and my gum are. I put my headphones in there. I don't have any headphones to showcase. But uh, yeah, I don't have any headphones to showcase. I kind of wish I did now. And sometimes I carry a little agenda with me as well. It just really depends. It really depends on my mood. Um, actually, let's opt it out for this little agenda. This is a lot better. There you go. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot better. Yeah, there you go. I should probably be carrying that around instead of my big journal. So I have my little my little calendar. Um. So now that that's organized, I will be putting in my Burt's Bees. So just put it like that. I kind of put it all like a hot dog or a cross. So it'll be like that. My Ray-Bans, kind of catty cornered here. And this is actually how the structure of my bag tends to stay. My wallet. Okay, so just like that very organized, very clean, very tidy. And I think a lot of it has to do with the design of the bag, which is why it's so versatile and so easy to work with. I could still put in like one more thing in here, maybe even, uh, actually, yeah, uh, I put my Starbucks tumbler in here. I don't have it clean right now and I don't have anything to sample that would be similar to my Starbucks tumbler. 
I mean, I have my Bioderma, but it's really fat. So let's see. Yeah, see, like, if that were to be my little, my little Starbucks tumbler, it would fit. Because I use my tall size. Um, I have a grande size. That one, I, I don't put it, I don't force it in there. But my, a tall one does fit. Makeup wipes as well, or baby wipes, what I would put in there. And that's what this bag uh, looks like. So this is the bag I use on the daily. This bag, you can remove these type of straps, keep it closed like that, and it keeps its shape better, unless you're gonna have it like this. And even then, I don't recommend you leaving your bag open. Um, I had this question asked by a YouTuber, by or by um, someone here. I, I didn't ask if it was okay to name her, but uh, I had asked, I had, she had asked me, I should say, if I keep it open or closed. I don't really recommend that because you could ruin the structure or you could, and you could ruin the leather. I mean, this is what I think. It's made like this for a reason. It's structured in the back like this for a reason. And it's most likely so you can keep the structure of the bag as long as it's closed, which is why the magnet is so strong and which is why it has this, this, this specific closure. Because if you carry it like this, see what I mean? If you carry it like this, you're more susceptible to people trying to go through your stuff. I mean, it's really hard to do it like this but you are just making yourself a target for people to try and get into your bag. Um, you can have it like that if you're okay with that. Me personally, no. Also because I don't want it to be one of those things where <coughs> I make it a habit and I end up damaging my goods because you did pay for it, so I might as well take care of it. Or I, just, you know, I would take care of it. Um, the Numero Un is 420, so if you were to get it with the wallet, which is 180, the total is 600, but there's a shipping $30 um, fee, I guess you could say, but that's here to Texas in the United States. I'm not sure about international. Um, that's one thing you may have to ask because I, don't, I do know there's some stuff that you may have to ask uh, about shipping. And to be honest, I was really confused at first. I kind of had to actually get online and talk to someone on chat and I had a lot of questions and I'm not going to lie, the people that are working for Pauline or that, you know, the, the employees of Pauline, uh, the staff, they're very friendly, very, very like, um, straightforward, approachable, even online. And sometimes it's hard to get like such outstanding customer service. Their customer service is great, extremely responsive. Uh, they really come through if I'm being completely honest, which is another reason why I also like love this brand is because customer service is awesome. The products are fantastic. They're absolutely wonderful. They're very classy. They're timeless. I feel like I would continue to use this bag just how I do with my little mini one, even after a year, probably even after five years, I feel that would last probably a lifetime. I think I'd be gone first before the bags go out. Um, so that's one thing about these goods. Another thing, before I go too much off track on this big bag, is that, again, depending what you put in, it can be very heavy. Even the bag empty, it has a little bit of weight. So I wouldn't recommend this to have all the time with you, like for college. Um, if, you're, if you're the type of person that's always back and forth, uh, you can get tired of it. At least I do. And I'll, well, also another thing is that I do have arthritis. So like a lot of weight tends to cause a lot of strain on me. So I do feel it a lot more intensely. So I don't know if maybe that's the thing with me, but I do recommend that if you're going to have this type of bag that you're not going to put a bunch of stuff in it where you're like, you know what? I don't like this bag. Like don't set up yourself for failure is basically what I'm trying to say. Test out the bag, put what you normally would carry. If it's too much, take stuff out. That's another thing that this bag really showed me, how to better organize myself, how to be tidier, how to be more efficient with the stuff that I have, and really just enjoy the bag in general. Um, I don't wanna go off too much on that tangent on this, but uh, that's pretty much it. These are all my goodies. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, sorry I made the video so long. <laughs> Uh, I don't mean it, I don't mean to sound like super preachy or like anything like that. It's just to kind of more or less let you know what I think if I would do 
certain things or not do certain things just because one, I'm paranoid of people taking stuff from me and two, because I, another, I, I will share your story. I was, um, I guess pocket picked, but I guess in my purse and my wallet was stolen that way years ago. So ever since then, like I've been super paranoid and I always used to be this person. So ever since then I stopped doing that. I broke that habit like pretty much shortly right after. Um, you can take off the straps. So if you want to take off these straps, you can. I don't because I sometimes want to change it. So I just wrap it around like that. Um, essentially what you do is you get the straps regular, twist it or crisscross them, wrap it around the bag. It also makes it look, look less appealing to open. So I carry it like that and I carry it here like this. It's a big one, I tell you. You can whack someone on the head and break their neck. Okay, so that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys like the bags. If you wanna go ahead and get one, go get one. I know the color that I have right now is out of stock. Um, I'll let you guys know if I'm fully decided or fully committed to purchasing another bag. I haven't fully decided which one, which style. I know what color, but I'm not exactly sure what style. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Again, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys like the content. I will be linking the links on each item online and uh, the shop information if you want to know more about that. Um, the reason why I giggle is because I just realized that I, um, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I can't read my handwriting. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. You guys enjoy the rest of your day and have a good day. Take care. And I'll see you guys next time.